Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Guitar of the Day. I'm your host, Michael Lemo. So it's another Stratter Day, and uh, we're almost there. Almost <laughs> where? there. Back to <laughs> Jen, where are you? I'm coming back. Okay, okay, that's what I mean. <laughs> She's coming back, and we're gonna have... A, a party. A party, sure. Pizza party. <laughs> and uh, also, we're gonna have a lot of fresh guitars, and I'm gonna get, be able to give a lot more time to this thing. <laughs> Because I feel like those were rushed. No, no, do it again. No, it's good. Okay. Keep going. Okay, okay, cool. <laughs> Jay, got it. Jen's egging me on. Here you go. Okay, uh, but anyway, like I said, uh, today actually, you know, last week we didn't do a strat. Um, kind of still cool though. Come on, that was pretty cool. But anyway, uh, we are back on track and we got a really cool strat in uh, last week. So here we go. Let's check it out. So this. It's a 1974 Fender Stratocaster in black. The coolest color known to man. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Jen's losing it. She's clearly already on vacation, everybody. She's kind of here, but not so much. Anyway, uh, so. One of the most classic guitars of all time. I know I say that about strats in general, but come on, the black and white strat. My first guitar looked like this. It was a Squire, but still, this is kind of like, for me, this is step one. and But can take you through step one through ten anyway, because it's just one of the most versatile guitars of all time. So, older body. Uh, so, cool checking on this and paint. I see it. And a little... Uh, Smudgy smudge there, but uh, check out the back. Look at this. Ooh. Vibey vibe. Digital information encoded into the back of this guitar. Is it encoded? Let me see. Yeah, it says 1974. Mike is awesome. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so we got a, a three bolt on uh, neck here with the F plate. Okay. F style tuners. Yep, and a one five eight nut nut width, um, and you got the bullet truss rod coming out of there, and the big 70s headstock, which I personally actually love. I think it, I, even as a kid, I always thought they were cool. But um, this guitar, we're going to do, well, you know what we're going to do. We're going to have to do some Clapton. Uh, Eric Clapton was my first concert I ever went to uh, in Philadelphia. At the time, it was called the Wachovia Center. Now, I think it's Wells Fargo, where the Sixers and the Flyers play. But Eric Clapton... I feel like every guitar player has to go through Eric Clapton, even Jimi Hendrix. And uh, this guitar is kind of, yeah, I mean, when I saw the cover of Prima Clapton and he had the black strat, it was like, like I said, step one. And, and this guitar just bends easy, plays great, a little wear on the neck, but uh, this thing's ready to go. And another thing that's interesting about it uh, in this year is it's a three-way selector. Now you can still have it sit in between kind of like that, and so you can get the out of phase pickups. Or we can also change it to a five, but this is three, three-way selector. So uh, we're gonna do three songs today. <laughs> Jen, I know you don't like my concerts, but. I do like your oh, concerts. Okay, okay, kind of, yeah, little... kind of sometimes, okay. <laughs> well, next week we'll get the Rihanna Stratocaster yes. and see what happens. <laughs> but uh, today we got the Eric Clapton vibe, so uh, we're gonna take it out front and see what this thing can do. Here we go. All right, we're up front with the 1974 Fender Stratocaster in black. Um, we're going through the magnetone. All the cues at noon, a little bit of verb. We're starting off with that neck pickup. Here we go. A little bit of Clapton some cream. Here we go. Thank you. 
All right, going into middle position. Uh, we're gonna take off the tube screamer. least we're gonna do uh, back to the tube screamer and bridge wide open here we go Fender Stratocaster in black. Uh, you can check out these guitars at normansrareguitars.com and also on Instagram and Facebook at Normans Rare Guitars. Uh, my name is Michael Emma. I'm happy to be here and we will see you next week for a whole new week of Guitar of the Day. Bye.